Hey, hey, all right, everybody. How's it going? Now, in front of me on the screen by here, you can't see it, but I can. There's a story here and I think is pretty amazing. Now, I don't know if any of you have actually followed this along before. It's the first time I've seen it. And my brother showed me the video earlier on. Um, and it's a company called Donut. And this is all about the world's, I'll read it by here, the world's first all solid state battery in production vehicles. Ooh! <laughs> now, I watched the video. I'll try and link the video in the description um, because it's quite interesting. Now, because we've sort of been bamboozled in the past, your first reaction is going to be, is this real? Is it actually real? Because I've seen um, loads of different news articles that China is promising solid state batteries in full production. Solid state batteries do exist, but I mean in full, full blown production um, from like 20, 2027 onwards to 2030. Um, so it is going to happen. It is going to happen, no matter how much the doubt is doubt, it is going to happen. Now, I suppose there is a small caveat with this actual article, because the batteries they're using are going to go into a motorbike. I think it's the parent company. Um, and I think the motorbike is pretty expensive. I'm not quite sure on the prices. Um... I'll put the price on the screen if I can find any information. I'll put it by here now. Um, but they're going to use, in this quarter, 2026, this quarter, um, they're going to use these batteries in these vehicles. And it's going to give these motorcycles quite a long range compared to the uh, motorcycles that have been using normal lithium-ion batteries. Um, I think it's got a short-range one, which is 200 and something miles and a long range one, which is over 300 miles, uh, something like that, and it's going to charge super quick. Now, in front of me by here, where it did say the world's first all solid state battery in production vehicles, it says, this is what I'm reading, and this is what they're saying, and as they've said, they've made these batteries, they've tested these batteries, and they're going into production for vehicles in this first quarter. It says 400... 400 watt hours per kilogram. Now that is fantastic. I almost said fan dabby dozy. Now, can anybody remember in the comment section who used to say fan dabby dozy? Um, anyway, uh, and it says a full charge in five minutes. Now, there must be caveats to that charge as well because it must be certain charges. And here's the even more exciting part, L listen to this. Designed for 100,000 cycles. I don't, and I mean, you know, 100,000, 100,000 cycles. Now, that means that if you have a 400 watt hour per kilogram battery in a motorbike that can do, let's say, 300 miles on a full charge, you work it out. 100,000 cycles, right, would mean that battery, it'd last, it, it wouldn't even break down, would it? It literally wouldn't break down, ever. The, the, the motorcycle would disintegrate underneath it by the time the battery's broken down. Um, so, And it also says, lower cost than lithium iron. What's going on? Now, this company, I think, is in Finland. Um, so let's go down a little bit further. And they are, like I said, they have made a video come out today. So, it, like I said by here, it says 400 watt hour, um, 400 watt hour kilogram of energy density, more energy, less mass, more range, or smaller packs. Um, and they're using it in Verge motorcycles. Now, it says by here, full charge in less than 10 minutes. And it says up to 60 kilometers of combined range per minute. Uh, long range version, 600 kilometers on one charge. This just sounds, it does sound too good to be true. And, you know, I'm almost going to use the term 
it's a game changer. But I'm not. I'm going to resist from saying it, even though I did say it. <laughs> um, so we got Verge motorcycles. Now, they're the motorcycles that got that peculiar back wheel where there's no middle part. I don't, I don't know if you've seen it before. Um, and I think that they, this company is something to do with them making in-wheel motors as well. Um, so there's a lot of things going on with this company here. Um, it's telling me to watch, watch the uh, video, but I've seen the video. I'm, look, I'm looking by here. I'm looking at the actual out-of-this-world performance. And it has got all the, all the specs there. That should be up on the screen right now. Um, we've gone through the 400 watt hours kilogram. Uh, full charge in five minutes. There's no need to limit charging to 80%. Full charge and full discharge are safe, repeatable, and it's expected in daily operation. Um, so we're saying just charge up to full, no problem. Also, solid state battery, no chance of fires. Um, so I think we're actually, this is the year, I think, that we're going to see, you know, the start of the solid state battery revolution. Um, uh, what's it got by us? Go a bit further down. Is there anything else? They have got a sort of go-kart style um, car in front of me and they've been testing their batteries in this sort of go-kart style car here. Um, this is to do with the uh, in-wheel motors. Donut Lab delivers in-wheel motor and battery technologies as part of the development of Watt EV's ultra lightweight EV skateboard platform. Uh, aluminium skateboard, integrated motors, inverter software and battery. It's um, it's all, what to say by you? Powered by Donut and Willie Motors, up to 54% reduction in diesel consumption. What's it got? To, what's I don't know what I'm reading, but they, up to 30% 30, 30 reduction in total energy use. Um, Anything else to note by here? They've done a buggy thing as well. I think these are the actual solid state batteries here. That it says no flammable liquid, electrolytes, no thermal runaway, chains, no no metallic dendrites that can cause internal shorts. Uh, safety is not added later. It's built into the chemistry structure and the system and behavior from the start. Oh, this is another interesting thing as well. It is absolutely amazing. Uh, a cold performance test uh, at th minus 30 degrees Celsius, the donut battery retains over 99% of its capacity. So no more of this, oh, you know, my battery's cold. And then <laughs> a high temperature test uh, tested above 80 degrees ce uh, cel Celsius. Um maintaining a stable operation without ignition or performance degradation. Even when heating the cell beyond 100 degrees Celsius, capacity retention remains at over 99% with no signs of ignition or degradation. This is just, is it is it too good to be true? <laughs> they've done a video, they've done a presentation as well. Um, so, what do you think of that? I think it's absolutely amazing. Now, like I said in the beginning, I think there's a little bit of a caveat here because um, if I go back to the start by here, it says world's first all solid state battery in production vehicles. Now, like I said, I think these motorcycles are probably a little bit expensive and they're probably going to be not a lot of them being made and sold. That's my assumption. So I don't know. I, I haven't got the cost to buy here. And I also haven't got, you know, when they say in production, is it like mass production or is it a bit of a slow production? Um, so there's a little, a few things I don't know. I've looked through here, but um, it doesn't say anything about that. So that might be the caveat. But... It's still, they're going into these motorcycles in this quarter. So there we go. What do you think of that? Comments down below. I think it's absolutely amazing. And this is probably, 
and I'm going to say it, if these batteries, and other people can copy these batteries, and solid state is coming, it's definitely, 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 100% the end of the combustion engine as we know it now. Don't mean totally. You know, people might keep old classic cars and cer certain circumstances, but as the way we know it and use it now, I do think this is the final nail in the coffin. That's just my opinion. You can tell me if I'm wrong down below. Anyway, if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.